Hi, I'm Stacy with Easy Design Resources, and today we're going to see how font choice sets the tone for your design. I always start a design by finding a few fonts that fit the vibes I'm going for, and take it from there. I've set up a simple design using different fonts to highlight the impact font choice brings to a project. If you're getting any value out of these videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button for good measure. Let's get to it! I chose fonts in four different categories. Fun, Sophisticated, Vintage, and Raw and Edgy. The fun fonts tend to have inconsistent line weights, and they also tend to be thick, but not always. Each of these fonts gives a playful, approachable feeling to the design. If I were Anticus Gallery and wanted this style for my staff, I think I'd go with Holy Fat. It has a cartoon brush style that I really dig, and I think it fits really great in this format. Sophisticated fonts tend to be simple and light. Each of these fonts gives a more upscale feel to the design. If I were Anticus Gallery, it'd be a tough choice, but I think I'd go with Avant-Garde. It's very elegant without being overstated. This vintage collection focuses on weathered styles that could fit right in in an Old West movie poster or whiskey label. Does Black Number 7 look familiar? Aside from the distressing of these fonts, they put out a familiar, worn in vibe. Black Number 7 would make Anticus feel like it's been around a hundred years. Raw and edgy fonts cover a large span of formats. The three I chose for this collection are all different, but still capture the essence of the style and energy I was going for. I'm really digging Outrun Future these days and think Anticus Gallery could run with that one if they were after that edgy look. If you're interested in trying any of these fonts, I've added download links in the box below. Most of these are for personal use only, but if you download the font, you'll find a link where you can purchase it. What are some of your go-to fonts? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button for good measure. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.